Welcome everybody and thanks for joining me today at Thoughtful Cooking. My name is Greg Flyshaker and today I'm making a butternut squash soup and I'll be making that in my Vitamix. So let's see, it looks like I'm starting just before one o'clock and as you can see I have nothing ready and I haven't prepped anything at all so if you watch this video you'll be able to see exactly how long it takes me to make this recipe from the very beginning to the very end. So I apologize in advance for the um, background there. Um, it looks like I have some chicken stock going in the background. But uh, for the butternut squash, the first thing, and you'll notice that I, I bought my squash, shame on me, already cut. So I did not buy the um, squash itself and then chop it up. So I bought organic squash, already cubed, uh, just for the convenience factor. And the recipe calls, you know, if I remember, for a little bit over 400 grams. So uh, I'm not going for an exact amount, but getting pretty close to 400 grams so that everything uh, works out. And uh, I'll just put that back in the fridge. And uh, I have been trying to buy my fruits and vegetables, or almost anything, uh, organically if possible, just so my family and I don't have to worry about uh, ingesting pesticides. So uh, a tablespoon or two of olive oil in the pan and uh, splash the uh, squash right in there. And I'll get that going first things first. Get that going on the stove and start to brown up and caramelize the uh, squash so that you have a little depth of flavor in the soup. And this is actually what takes the most time when making the soup is, is the squash here. So while that's going, I will then get out my Vitamix. And uh, this is, uh, I forgot the model number. I think maybe a 750 and it has a soup function on it which we will use to heat the soup up. Um, so now I'm just gonna get the rest of my ingredients and put almost all of them in the Vitamix. I'm gonna hold the cream back, but uh, the recipe calls for a quarter of an apple and um, just carving out a, a little bad piece there. There we go, get rid of that. And the rest of the apple looks good, so I will cut that up and um, off camera, I, I saved off a little bit of time there, but I cut the apple up, put it in the fridge for kids to snack on later. I think the recipe called for 20 grams or so of onion. Um, I just guessed, I threw some onion in there. And I haven't found that it makes any difference if you use red onion, yellow, white. If you have some onion already cut up, uh, just throw it in. Here's some chicken stock from the previous week. I usually try to make chicken stock once a week. So I need two cups of chicken stock. It's always nice to have on hand for sauces or soups. So uh, if you can get into the habit of making some homemade chicken stock, it's, it's pretty handy to have around. So you can see this is straight out of the fridge. It's a little gelatinous and uh, jelly-like, which is fine. Actually, that's, that's the way you want your chicken stock. Um, but in the Vitamix, it'll heat it up. So it'll be, you can throw cold stuff in there and it'll heat it right up. And now I'll just add my spices uh, again. I've tried it a few times with a couple different spices depending on what I had in hand. I don't go out of the way to make sure I have the exact spices. Um, I like kind of an earthy flavor so I'm happy to use cumin if I run out of something else or just sort of mix and match as I have on hand. I'm not going to buy a, a brand new bottle uh, just specifically for this soup recipe. So if you haven't used a Vitamix before this is where it really gets handy is um, well for a lot of things but soups especially so make sure you uh, toss your your squash every now and then so it gets browned evenly I'm gonna measure out my cream but remember don't put it in yet that's really a finishing touch here uh, on the soup so it looks like it's been about half an hour um, that I let the squash roast in the pan obviously it took me a lot less time than that to get all the other ingredients in the uh, Vitamix but uh, the, the lengthy time as I told you is going to be letting the squash get uh, a little bit of color to it and soft through so you have time to do a few other things while you're waiting put the top on turn it to soup mode if you have it and turn it on and it runs itself so it'll speed up and then it'll turn off so let the whole system run I don't know if you saw the steam there so it really does heat it up it's, it's kind of amazing and uh, pour the cream in and this one you're going to do more manually. So you put it on a low speed, just dial it up for 10, 20, 30 seconds, just enough to really mix it in. And there you go. You have hot 
butternut squash soup done in a Vitamix. And you can just see the steam coming off. It doesn't have an element in there. It's just the speed at which it blends will, will heat your soup up. So there you go. It took about um, 35, 40 minutes total, and you have a beautiful, smooth butternut squash soup. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.